It is an honor to introduce our special guest of the evening, representing His Majesty King Mohammed VI. Her, Her Royal Highness Princess Lalla Hasna, sister of His Majesty King Mohammed VI, daughter, daughter of His Majesty King Hassan II, and granddaughter of His Majesty Sidi Mohammed bin Yusuf, also known as King Mohammed V. Please rise for the national anthem. Oh, the land of 
Jason Remock, and it is my distinct honor and pleasure to help with the emceeing of the evening tonight. We have a wonderful evening planned for everybody. The buzz in the room, as you can see, is electric. Leading up to this ceremony has been so incredible. As a matter of fact, I have not even seen so many Moroccans in one room since Kol Nidre. <laughs> we are here to salute Morocco. And there are so many times in our lives when we have immigrants talking about their homeland in a way where they talk about their homeland. You should have seen it when I grew up. It used to be so beautiful, not Morocco. In Morocco, they say, it used to be beautiful and it's more beautiful today. It continues to be beautiful. Did you know that Morocco was the first country in the entire world to recognize the United States of America in 1786? Our special relationship happened then and it still continues today. Did you know that, I think it was 1888, that where we are now in Beverly Hills, to be exact, Burton Way and Santa Monica, in that area on Cannon Drive, there was two explorers that bought the land and they called it the Morocco Junction. And this is a true story. And they were hoping to build a North African theme park because they found the similarities of the Moroccan climate and the Los Angeles climate, and they called it the Moroccan Junction. Emma Banim is a vision. It's a vision of Moroccan immigrants who came from Morocco, and they wanted to practice their religion in the same tradition and culture that Morocco allowed them to practice in. They came to Los Angeles here, a community, and they built in a little house. I remember I was a little boy and I used to set up the chairs in this little house in the valley. And they wanted to be together with the Moroccan tradition to hear the tefillah, the prayers, the melody of the beautiful sounds in a Moroccan Sephardic tradition. And they built a small little temple that grew and grew to now a flourishing, amazing synagogue. We, that's a, it was from the amazing leadership that this became. One leader I would like to introduce is a man that we all know. To us, he's Superman. He really is Superman, a man who is with us during all of our joyous occasions. He is there in our most challenging times as well. He is running an amazing, amazing Beit Knesset synagogue with leadership to grow the community, to continue the Moroccan heritage and the Moroccan traditions. 
He is a scholar. He is a father. He is an amazing, amazing man. He is our spiritual leader, Rabbi Joshua Bitan. Please come up. B'shem Hashem Naseh Natsliach. Her Royal Highness, Princess Lala Hasna, personal emissary of His Majesty King Mohammed VI. Her Excellency, Her Highness, Shrifa Lala Jumala, Ambassador of His Majesty King Mohammed VI to the United States. Ambassador at large, Mr. Serge Verdugo, and General Secretary of the Jewish Community in Morocco. Co-Chairman Mr. Maurice Marciano and Mr. Jack Rimok. Honored rabbis, distinguished guests. It is indeed a very, very moving moment for me as we gather today after months of preparation for this very meaningful day in Los Angeles. A salute to Morocco honoring a dynasty of tolerance. It is definitely a blessed event for which we thank Hashem, God Almighty. Hadi sa'am barka. Alhamdulillah wa shukro. Amen. Before I proceed to, my, to offer my blessings, I'd like to thank from the bottom of my heart the offices of the Royal Palace in Rabat, the Moroccan Embassy in Washington, D.C., my dream team of volunteers. You have been all so fabulous, each of you. I really want to give you all a hand. It's been quite an experience working with you and the staff and officers of our congregation, Emma Banim, for helping to make this evening a reality. Tonight, we are celebrating and paying tribute to Morocco and our rich Moroccan heritage of which we are all so proud. Tonight, we are expressing our heartfelt gratitude and we cannot say enough thank you our love and respect as we honor a dynasty of tolerance, a dynasty of benevolence, a dynasty of kindness, a dynasty of compassion, a dynasty of reason, and a dynasty of faith. As His Majesty the King of Morocco holds the official title of Amir al-Mu'aminim, which means commander of the faithful. May Hashem bless His Majesty, the King of Morocco, Mohammed VI. And may Hashem bless the royal family. And may Hashem bless the country of Morocco. Amen. Amen. Our sages have instituted a blessing upon seeing a king. C'est une bénédiction lorsqu'on voit un roi en son honneur, on dit une bénédiction. Tonight definitely qualifies for that blessing, as tonight is dedicated to royalty, to His Majesty King Mohammed VI. We also remember the blessed memory of his beloved father Hassan Tani, Allah irahmo, and his venerated grandfather Mohammed al Khamis, Allah irahmo. So I'll now pronounce the blessing in honor of His Majesty. Baruch Atta Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Shenatan Mikvodo Le Basar Vadam. And we just bless the Almighty God who has given of His honor to a person. I would like to invite to the stage the 63rd speaker of the California Assembly and our 41st Mayor of Los Angeles, Antonio Villaragosa.
Mayor, will you please read the City of Los Angeles proclamation dedicated to His Majesty, the King Mohammed VI. Salam alaikum. Shalom. Welcome. Only in LA can we say those three words of greeting and many more. You see, this is the city where the world comes together, a place where people come looking for that beacon of hope and light. And today, we have the light. Today, it's an honor for me to be here with Her Royal Highness Lala Hasna, Her Highness Ambassador Lala Jomala, Rabbi Vitan, and the members of M. Habanim Sephardic Congregation. I was saying to the rabbi yesterday, for years I've said to my Jewish friends that I'm Sephardic. The Israelis say I'm Yemenite. I did 23 and Me, and lo and behold, I'm Ashkenazi. <laughs> Only in Los Angeles. We're here to honor and recognize a dynasty of tolerance. The proclamation presented today honors the work of Muhammad V, of blessed memory, Hassan II, of blessed memory, and the Tyler tireless work of King Mohammed VI to ensure a tradition of coexistence and respect of religious freedom, which has existed not just for a few years or a few decades, but for centuries. As many of you know, during World War II, the Nazis during the Vichy government demanded the list of Jews in Morocco. King Mohammed V responded, there are no Jews in Morocco. There are only Moroccans. <laughs> we honor the unbreakable ties that have become stronger with Mohammed VI and the Moroccan Jewish community worldwide. You know, I've had an opportunity to come to many dinners like this. Jews from Israel, Jews from France, Jews from Europe, Jews from other parts of the United States. But there are a few places where Jews can come from a country and celebrate that country in the way they celebrate Morocco. And it is a testament <laughs> to a generation of kings and princesses who understand that tolerance and respect for human beings, no matter who they pray to, is very, very important, and particularly in these times. As we know today, the world is ever-changing. The vision of Muhammad VI and the fight for tolerance and coexistence requires courage and determination. And my dream is that not just Morocco, but the entire Middle East, Africa, Europe, Asia, and the Americas will understand that our job is to leave the world a better place for our children. And the best way to do that is to respect every single one of us. I'm no longer mayor, but, but I said, how could we be here without declaring today Morocco Day? <laughs> Yesterday, we celebrated her independence. And so I went to my friends at the city council, and uh, Paul Krikorian, the, the council member, is no longer here, but he asked that we provide these few words. And I know Adrien Azarian, the assembly member, is here, if you could give him a hand. So on, on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, there are many whereases. I've mentioned some of them. No need to go through the rest. But what it says is, we celebrate Morocco, a country of tolerance and coexistence, a country that honors all of us, the children of God, no matter who we pray to, 
Thank you for coming to the city of Los Angeles. We hope that one day the king will come as well. Thank you so much. In the name of His Majesty the King, Mohammed VI, Her Royal Highness, Prince Elala Azma, invites to decorate Wissam El Arsh the rank of commander to Maurice Marciano. I didn't prepare, I, I was not expecting, I didn't prepare a speech. But uh, uh, in fact, I'm speechless, you know, for once. Uh, it's such an honor, such an honor. I don't know how to thank uh, His Majesty, the King Mohammed VI, and Your Royal Highness. Uh, for us here, living in Los Angeles and living outside of Morocco, we never, never, never forget our culture and our country. Wherever we are in the world, we always say, when they ask us, we always say, we are from Morocco. I'm from Morocco. And it's such an amazing country which has given us so much. And as of today, and we will never forget, and we always go back with the greatest pleasure. And maybe one day, if I'm lucky, I will get to meet the king. Maybe. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Mr. We'll I will do you. my best. <laughs> yes. So, on behalf, on behalf of the entire community, we really thank the king, Mohammed VI, and you. Highness, and the entire royal family for everything that you have done for, the, for, the, for, the, for our community and for all the Moroccan, wherever they are in the world, really. And we will never forget what King Mohammed VI just did for our community there in Morocco, for the one we don't know, maybe. He has restored basically all the synagogues which are in Morocco, and all the Jewish cemeteries in Morocco. It's unbelievable. No, nobody else has done that in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Decorate the rank of officer, Jack Remock. Please come up.
in the name of His Majesty King Mohammed VI and the Her Royal Highness Princess Lala Hasna, I am deeply honored and thankful to accept such a great accommodation. In behalf of the Moroccan community, we are proud in keeping our Moroccan traditions. Thank you very much. Basaha, salut, le chayim, vive le Maroc. We welcome to get decorated Mr. Sidney Shriki. The rank of officer. I'm so overwhelmed tonight. I came to this country in 1948. And I spent about 15 years of my life overseas. I have worked for the United States government in a big honor, in tremendous places, and I've received a lot of citations in my life. A lot of medals, but this one is the best. Yeah. It, it, it comes from my, it comes from my king and my country, and I love you all so much. And our final accommodation for the Wasim El Arsh rank of officer, please welcome to the stage Rabbi Joshua Biton. Wow, what a moving evening. A special, special moment to be honored in such a way by your Royal Highness as the emissary of His Majesty King Mohammed VI. This is an incredible recognition that I'm so thankful for, but really it is a tribute to my parents, my grandparents, and my wonderful Sephardic rabbis who have taught us the true tradition and the values to observe and to go by. So thank you so much, Your Royal Highness. May God bless you. May God bless Sidna Mohammed the Sadis. And may God bless the Kingdom of Morocco. Amen, Kenyatta. If, uh, if Albert, if you can please take, it's Albert Ifrah, he's our, our president. This is a very special version of the book. It says, Emma Banim Sfardi Congregation, a salute to Morocco, honoring a dynasty of tolerance, November 19th, 2019, 21st Cheshban 5780 at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Also, I'd like to have a couple of other presentations made, if we can have the embroidery there. There is one special logo that we developed. Yeah, the first one there. A very special logo that we developed to honor Morocco and the dynasty of tolerance. This is a logo that shows the flag of Morocco and the flag of the United States. 
Emma Bunny's Party Congregation, Los Angeles, California. And it says at the bottom, presented in grateful appreciation to His Majesty King Mohammed VI. And please take this back to the palace, and we'll hope that you'll find a very special place for it in the royal palace. The next proclamation, which we'll present to Her Royal Highness, if you want to hold it. This one is signed by all the members of the City Council of Beverly Hills, and it makes a beautiful proclamation honoring Morocco and honoring the King of Morocco, His Majesty Mohammed VI. The next one, the next one, if we can help Lala Hasna to hold it, is a very special resolution from the State Legislature of California praising Morocco and King Mohammed VI. And please again take it to the Royal Palace as a, as a gift of our appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. It's a lot of pleasure. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, thank you. What a special moment. Rabbi, please come to the stage. What a special moment. I'm about to announce something very, very important. Today is November 19th. It is Her Royal Highness Princess Lala Khasna's birthday today. To you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear princess, happy birthday to you. Ce soir, notre joie est immense et nos sentiments d'affection aussi. Nous sommes tous très reconnaissants de votre présence et cette visite mémorable restera dans les annales de Los Angeles, de la Californie et dans tous les États-Unis. Oui, à Tema Banim are humbled and proud for this special honor bestowed upon us. Our words cannot fully describe the joy and respect we all feel tonight.
تنشر هم الديني عيشة قبل عمري ما ننساك يا ماما يا ماما عمري ما ننساك عمري ما ننساك يا ماما يا ماما عمري ما ننساك عيش في الدنيا غير مرضاك يا ماما عمري ما I want to address this message to Your Excellency and the Ambassador, the dignitaries who have come here from Morocco. I really want to take one minute to give you one message. We've been speaking tonight about tolerance, but I'd like to go a step further. And we've also been speaking about how we have such a deep cultural connection between the Jews and Morocco, but I want to go a step further. Because for many years, I drifted from my Judaism. And while I drifted from my Judaism, there was always something that pulled me back. And the thing that pulled me back was the Judaism I experienced in Morocco. It was the Neila prayer. It was the Judaism of the sun. It was the Judaism of dreams. It was the Judaism of community and family. And what I want to thank all the representatives of Morocco tonight is not only have you connected us so deeply in a cultural way, but you've made my Judaism better. <laughs>